Okay, welcome to Weld School. Today we are doing a stainless steel pad weld. So at the college I teach, this is one of the uh, kind of introductory pads that I try to introduce to my students for TIG specifically. Uh, we usually start out with some steel and then we'll go on to some stainless steel. Uh, really not a whole lot of significant differences. You know, we're really using DC negative, 100% argon. Uh, the puddle's gonna flow similar. I usually would say that this seems a little bit more fluid than a uh, standard steel rod on steel, uh, but not, not huge differences. It might appear to be maybe a little more shinier, maybe because of the chromium and nickel in there. Uh, but overall, not a whole lot of differences. So I grabbed probably, I'd say this piece has gotta be a half inch thick. We try to train these guys on, the guys and gals on the plate metal. So that way they can kind of run, run, run without worrying about it cooling down and, and, and whatnot. So they can just kind of burn, burn, burn nonstop. Uh, this one was a 332-308L. L is for low carbon. Pretty much everybody's using that. And it was a 332. 332 uh, tungsten as well which is I believe a tri-blend and you can see here I'm just trying to be very repetitious move forward dip the same every time keep everything as uh, consistent as possible I usually tell them go for the robot arms get everything to be very robotic looking same movements same dips same steps same arc length the whole way across this thing so you know this is all about repetition uh, trying a different material, uh, see if you notice any differences, and uh, that's why we do a lot of pads. I mean, pads really are a great training exercise. They're cheap because you're really taking one piece of metal and you're spending lots of time uh, with putting beads on it, okay? So here you'll see that, you know, I'm just dipping right to the front of the puddle, not crossing that arc. When you cross the arc is when it'll drip off and you risk contamination you can see here slowing it down just uh, right in front of that right to the front of that puddle there's all that heat in that puddle It'll just pull the amount that it needs to fill the puddle and just keep that tungsten moving across and trying to dip consistently okay so I would say I'm definitely less than 150 amps even though this is a pretty thick uh, piece of material uh, Went slow, probably ran about, I don't know, five to ten passes, stopped for a little bit, just to let it cool down. I really didn't want to quench it. Uh, some issues that you might see with stainless steel, not necessarily a thick piece like this, is mainly do uh, mainly heat-related issues. So distortion is a huge issue with stainless, especially thin stuff. It'll warp like crazy. Um, shielding gas issues, you want to make sure that it's totally shielded from any contaminants uh, in the air. Uh, chromium carbide uh, could be built up from overheating and that carbon will actually kind of cling on to the chromium and kind of destroy the properties that you are selecting stainless for. So those are a few of the issues. Uh, you know, if this was an open root stainless, obviously we'd have to have a back purge otherwise we might get shivering and whatnot but that's just a little bit about stainless uh you know we do have different stainless rods as well 308 316 whatever uh we're trying to match um, but this one 308l torque perfect you know i'm using a 332 with how thick this is i could have gone you know to an eighth inch or even beyond that if i wanted um, but I just thought this would give the right amount of repetition for this size plate, which is really what we're going for. Okay, so again, this is just kind of an introductory project. Most of the videos I've put on Weld School so far are introductory. Uh, trying to crank through as many as I can and, and get some more uh, complex, difficult welds out there. Uh, some of those are a little bit harder to shoot when you're kind of a a one-man production here but I, I appreciate you watching hope you enjoy hope you learned something and if you do hit that subscribe button i'll keep cranking them out